Topping the news at 4.30, the Niagara Falls Air Reserve Base will have some high-ranking visitors from the Pentagon this summer as they determine if this installation has the right stuff, so to speak, to pick up some brand new planes and some new Air Force personnel. We are in the running in Niagara Falls uh, as one of those bases that uh, hopefully would be chosen. Currently, the 914th refueling wing flies eight of these 60 to 65 year old KC-135 air tanker jets, but the base is one of several in competition to get 12 new planes like this. The KC-46A Pegasus tanker, which Boeing is rolling out for the Air Force. This one visited recently at the base in the falls. The fact that the Air Force would send, um, you know, three and a half to four billion dollars worth of aircraft uh, to our base is, is a pretty big deal. There probably would be, I don't know, 50, 60 million dollars in construction that might take place. That's a total guess. And those new planes would bring a squadron of 175 or so active duty Air Force crew and support members to this longtime base of reservists. So the base has to measure up for them as well. First, the community will be assessed. Uh, they look at things like uh, child care, health care, housing uh, because this is going to be an active duty uh, squadron that will come here in addition to what we have now um, they will um, have to be housed somewhere part of that decision may come down to the efficiency of the air base a source tells us new york power authority just cut a new deal here with the air force to lower the electricity rates and that may make this base look much better in comparison to others also, the runway might have to be lengthened, and the Air Force is right now looking at a $60 million contract to do so. The decision on who gets those new planes will be made in the fall, with our congressional delegation expected to help lobby the Defense Department decision makers. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.